Another big story we're following for you at 6 o'clock is one many of you have been talking about all weekend. That Chinese balloon that was shot down just miles off of the Myrtle Beach coast. And right now, officials with the North American Aerospace Defense Command, or NORAD, looking for pieces of that down balloon across the Grand Strand. Our Natasha Lagur joins us live from Myrtle Beach tonight with the latest on that search. And we are told, Natasha, that that debris field is roughly 15 foot by field, football fields by 15 football fields, correct? Eric, the, during the briefing, the commander for the North American Aerospace Defense Command says that the Navy is using sonar to spot any heavy debris that still remains in the ocean. General Glenn Van Rick confirmed the focus is on collecting the heavy parts of the debris. He says the assessment of the balloon shows it was up to 200 feet tall and weighted about 2,000 pounds. He says the goal for his team is to salvage the balloon for further analysis and the commander said there is a possibility of debris washing up on the shore. Over the last few days, WMBF has received dozens of pictures and videos of the balloon and debris. Van Rick says he advises anyone that sees the debris to not touch it and contact appropriate authorities. He described how the debris could be a potential threat to the community. You know, from a safety standpoint, uh, picture yourself with uh, large debris weighing hundreds, if not thousands of pounds falling out of the sky. Uh, that's really what we're kind of talking about. So glass off of show, uh, solar panels, potentially hazardous material, such as material that is required for uh, batteries to operate in such an environment as this, and even the potential for explosives to detonate and destroy uh, the, the balloon uh, that that could have been present. So I, I think um, that would give you an idea of the perspective of the of the balloon and uh, the decision making process along the way. And again, as soon as all the debris is collected, Venris says that it will be analyzed. He also mentioned that there could be no timeline yet for this operation. Joining me live right now is Ali Espinosa, who spoke with a CCU professor about the possible purpose of this balloon. Ali, what have you learned? Natasha, like you mentioned, no one really knows how long this recovery process will take, but when it is done, experts say the next step is learning the purpose behind this balloon. Oh, did they just send something at it? On Saturday, many Myrtle Beach residents and tourists captured images of the suspected Chinese spy balloon, a site that continues to raise questions even from national security experts. Intelligence and Security Studies professor Mark Chandler has nearly 40 years of experience in his field and is a retired defense intelligence official. We want to know what the Chinese were interested in, obviously our strategic assets, and then what they may have gained through that. Chandler says the Chinese sent over the balloon well over a week ago. Military officials confirmed they used an F-22 to shoot down the balloon off the coast of Myrtle Beach. Before it reached our area, Chandler says the balloon crossed over sensitive U.S. military sites. He says some of those sites are critical to our country. And it went over Canada, and then it went over, I believe, what we would consider our critical missile fields, our intercontinental ballistic missile fields in Montana. And then it took a path that took it over what we call Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri. That's where we have our B-2 strategic bombers. As members of the U.S. Navy collect debris pieces off of our coast, Chandler says officials at the Pentagon will try to piece it back together and begin evaluating the 100-foot wide balloon. He says during that process, there are several important questions officials will try to answer. Did we have a breakdown in our air defense system that was up over Alaska? Or did we actually know it was there and then we allowed that for any kind of gathering that we might have wanted to do on the platform? That's a critical question. I think we'll have to wait for the Pentagon to, to really come through. Uh, but I would be concerned about a breakdown in our air defense system. And Professor Chandler says it'll take several months before any answers are revealed and what experts find through their examination. Live from CCU, Ali Espinosa, WMBF News. Ali, thank you. Meanwhile, China says destroying the balloon was a, quote, overreaction, maintaining it was a civilian research vessel. However, at the same time, China did acknowledge that a similar balloon floating over Latin America is theirs as well, claiming it was conducting flight tests but deviated from its course, quote, by mistake. 
I've seen a number of pictures and videos from you, viewers, showing the moments when the balloon was shot down. Remember, you can always send us your videos through WMBFnews.com and your WMBF News app.